Hello everyone, have you heard about the HIV surf testing kit? Yes, you can do your HIV test at the comfort of your home using the HIV surf testing kit. Just like a pregnancy test where you do at home, you can also do the HIV test at home. For today's video, we're going to be taking you step by step guide on how to do this HIV test at home or even by yourself, even if it's not in the house. This is Talk Pregnancy with Dr. Nuela, where we tell you all about pregnancy and other women-related health issues. Today, we're taking you on the HIV surf testing kit. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click on the subscription button and also the notification button, such that you're going to be the first to receive any new video on this channel. Let's dive right in. Welcome back to Talk Pregnancy with Dr. Nuela. Here today, before you start taking the HIV test, before you do it on your own or with assistance, it's very important you know this. There are two ways in which you can do it. Either it's assisted or unassisted. Assisted means you go to the pharmacy, to a health facility, or to a community-based organization that has these kits. Then, once you collect the kits, an, an expert who knows how to do it very well might help you go through the steps, instructing you on how to do it. Then you go ahead and do it yourself. That is what we call the assisted testing. Now, if you want to do it on your own, you can just go and purchase the, the kit or you can just go and ask in any health facility and you go through, you read the steps using the leaflet and you do it on your own without any assistance. That is what is called the unassisted self-testing. So before doing the test, listen to this carefully. If you were doing something, please pay close attention. HIV is a virus, immunodeficiency virus that attacks the T helper cells of the body. And these cells, what do they do? Help fight infections in the body and have anything like a flu and normally your body usually takes care of it but when you have this hiv virus in your cells it makes the body not to fight against these viruses or these infections therefore it freezes your immune system but the good news is that there are medications which can help you decrease this number of virus in your body in such a way that you can live a healthy life and it makes it undetectable such that you cannot transmit it to your spouse or to your unborn baby. It's very important you take note of this. Now, once you have this HIV virus, you can live a healthy life. And maybe if you're to die, you might even die of something else, not even of this HIV. Now, let's dive right in on the steps on how to do the HIV test at home, either assisted or unassisted now you want to do your hiv test how do you do it you sit at the comfort of your home and you relax i bought my hiv testing kit this is the kit present this is the kit and i want to do the testing what's the first thing i need to do i need to check on the expiring dates here this is the expiring date i think our own expires in 20 2025 yeah so this kit is ready for use it's very okay to use now what do you do you have to touch here to make sure that there's air inside you touch all through to make sure there's air inside once there's air you know that it is still good even if the expiring date is okay it means maybe something might have not bursted you might keep it inside a bag and you get something versus the paper and so you just have to make sure that the air is still there then what do you do you strip and open now we have opened this one you open and you have this is what you have to use in collecting 
you put like in a clean surface ensure that you have washed your hands carefully not to soil the equipment now what do you do you check does this thing inside you have to ensure that it's there it means it keeps the safety of the kit so this is it ensure that this is there now we also open the other part there's always a part there like uh indentation for you to strip it off we also open once we have opened our kits we check these are the equipment okay we have our equipment usually we have the this is the leaflets where you can read and see exactly how to do the testing this is it you can go through and see the steps on your own there are different types so this one is particular for this there are different types so ensure that you read the leaflet pair the testing kits now once you have done this you keep this aside these are your equipment that you have to use this is the liquid it's not water please it's not water it looks like water inside so letting us peel off and you decide to change it and put water no it's not water it's the solution that does the testing some other kits have like a stand where you can actually put it in it if your surface is not flat you can put it inside the stand and you stand it there so it's very comfortable while you're doing the test now what do you do if you look at this you're going to see that test line and the control line it's very important you see this once you do this you open you open like this you use your thumb and you push it up why do you do this so that it doesn't spill so that the liquid in it does not spill there is liquid inside if you see clearly there is liquid inside you put it down and you put your cock down then you go in and with your spatula you take like this and you go you're using your gum you're using your gum okay so once you have gone up to left to right you go down left to right so you make sure that you have touched all the areas of your gum what do you do you insert it inside and you leave it there for some time while you're looking at the line so you don't once you have put it in your mouth you don't make and maybe you forget and you're turning the the spatula up and down remember that the air has bacteria in it and it can react to your sample so once you do it immediately you put it in the inside the solution and you wait for how many minutes 20 to 40 minutes you set your time and you put your timer on and you can go and relax do every other thing while you leave it there I'm coming to check my results and I want to check what my results are either I'm seeing one line or two lines then these are the explanations of the result and what you should do next you have done your HIV test it could either be reactive or non-reactive and when you say when it shows the two lines it means it is reactive in other words you can say positive but most of the times you would say reactive once it's reactive it means that maybe you might be hiv positive what do you do you communicate the results to your health personnel once you go to the hospital they're going to do what we call the testing of hiv that's the three testing strategy so it means that they do the test now three times to confirm if you are hiv positive or not and if they do this three tests and it's positive, then you are 
positive you have the hiv virus and you have to be on treatment you might be reactive but at the end the testing is negative that means that you are not hiv positive now if you just see one line if you've seen one line then it means it is non-reactive what do you do from here you don't stop here you have to wait for after till three months after you do the test to confirm if it is if it's actually still negative because there's what we call the window period from when you get infected to the time the antibodies of the hiv virus can be detected in blood that's what's called the window period and from there you can definitely know if the results are actually negative because from there if you just contacted the virus it might not show reactive at that time then if it's reactive after three months you follow the other steps you call your health personnel and you follow the other steps now after doing that and it's non-reactive and you know you're fine you continue with your measures to prevent the infection of hiv like practicing abstinence and if you cannot abstain you go using practicing safe sex safe intercourse using either a condom a male or a female condom and do not use needles or sharps which have been used by other people that is how you can prevent yourself from hiv and aids if this was helpful don't forget to subscribe and share this video to as many people as possible for them to know yes it's possible to do a self testing of hiv at the comfort of your home and depending on the results if it's reactive don't forget to call your health personnel thank you very much and god bless you see you next time